Nine Heavenly Fender Manual. CH6 Dragon Group tests quickly taking a bath. The dawn sky was already starting to get hazy with light. Leihi lived in a solitary high rise. Since it was still early in the morning, Yulei stood in front of the window watching all the cars coming and going by on the street. Lei, you recalled the battle scene between the two wild beasts and the yellow bead. I wonder what was up with that. Without realizing it, Lei Yu touched his forehead, thinking that there was a bead inside his head made him a bit uncomfortable. Inadvertently turning around, Lei Yu saw his tattered clothes. Remembering wrapped inside his tattered clothes were the unknown named fruits he had picked but never ate. Unwrapping the clothing, he took a bite out of the fruit. The fruit was still plump, juicy, and very sweet. It had not gone bad even though it was picked quite a few days ago. Ah, so good. I should really let Nuo who try some. After eating another one, his internal energy slightly vibrated giving Lei Yu an enjoyable feeling. Usually after eating the fruit, he would sit down and absorb it. But today he didn't do that. Picking up his newly purchased backpack, shoving a few pieces of fruit inside, he left. The house... Lei Yu's apartment was a bit far from the Dragon Group grounds, but he did not take any public transportation. He chose to jog there. Even though jogging would not increase his cultivation level by that much. But he would still attain some tiny benefits from it. Little Yu, the currently jogging Lei Yu turned his head and saw Niu Hu driving towards him. Take this. Niu Hu took out a brand new top of the line cell phone from his pocket and handed it to Lei Yu. This will help us communicate easier, and I have good news to tell you. Oh, what good news, Lei Yu asked. Do you remember Ayer? Ayer, didn't she go live abroad? Lei Yu remembered Nuo, whose little sister called Nuo Ayer since they were young. This little girl loved playing together with her two brothers, and since she was young, she was intelligent and easy to get along with, gaining Lei Yu's adoration. Right, but she is about to return home. She's currently filling out paperwork these few days. That is great. The cell phone was just handed to Lei Yu. It then started ringing. Lei Yu could see a smirk on Nuo Hu's face, indicating he should answer the phone. Hello, Brother Yu. T then should be Brother Little Yu, but doesn't make sense in. English Ayer, wait for me. I'm coming home soon. I want to see if you become more handsome. This is an international long-distance call, very expensive, hanging up now. Not letting Lei Yu respond, the other side already hung up the phone. Lei Yu shook his head helplessly, living abroad for several years. This little missy's thoughts were quite westernized, starting a conversation with such a greeting, putting the phone in his pocket. Lei Yu mysteriously took out the purple reddish fruit from his backpack and handed it over to Nuo Ho, Hesitantly holding the fruit, Nuo Hu first took a small bite, his eyes suddenly opened in surprise. Proceeding to gulp down the fruit with such ferocity, watching Nuo Hu close his eyes in. Contentment, Lei Yu also smiled in satisfaction. What kind of fruit was that? How could it taste so good? Lei Yu shrugged. I don't know but I've been eating it the past year to survive. As Lei Yu was saying that, Nuo Hu's look of surprise became... More obvious, such a feeling of rejuvenating energy. What is going on? Gently rubbing his stomach, Nuo who asked in amazement. I also don't know, but it definitely helps with cultivation. While sitting inside the car, Nuo who closed his eyes and experienced the rejuvenating energy. Nuo whose smile gradually became more brilliant. Just one fruit and he was able to feel earth-shaking changes in his body. He could not even fathom this monster Lei Yu had actually eaten this fruit for a whole year. What kind of improvement has he gained? I still have some more here. It's all yours. Lei Yu generous took all the fruits from his backpack and gave it to Niu Hu. What about you? I ate a lot of them already. I don't think they have much effect on me anymore. Niu Hu excitedly took all the fruits. One could see that in his eyes. They were filled with gratitude towards Lei Yu. Lei Yu acted selflessly because he felt that it was a normal thing to share with one's brother. Nuo Hu belonged to ancient clans inside the martial sect. 
He learned martial arts since he was young, and they were the top tier martial cultivating arts. Naturally, making him different from ordinary people, this spiritually infused fruit for Nuo, who was like a cultivation increasing elixir. How could he not be excited? Going with Nuo, who they arrived at the military camp. Has your energy consumption recovered from yesterday? Asked Fen Hongcheng. Completely recovered. Fen Hongcheng nodded his head. Are you willing to accept another test today? Huh? Why? Lei Yu hurriedly asked thinking that their problems with yesterday's test. Your ability has already exceeded the standards of the Wild Wolf team, the commander. Deputy commander and I have decided to have you test for admission into the Lion team. The test results were expected by Lei Yu and Nuo Hu. That's why Nuo Hu did not show much surprise during yesterday's test. But for those new recruits, it was definitely unimaginable. Lei Yu naturally agreed. If he could attain a higher level, it would mean he will be in contact with more powerful individuals. This may help him improve his cultivation greatly. For this test, endurance and strength were no longer the objective. Instead, it was fighting. This was actually Lai Yu's weakness. When in the Lei family household, he was often beaten by others, never retaliating. Just before he left the Lei household, he only retaliated slightly. It could not be really considered fighting back. Counting the days until now, he had only fought with the unnamed fierce beast in a death struggle. Therefore, Lei Yu's actual combat experience were rather inadequate. What type of fighting are we engaging in? Ask Lei Yu. Within the Lion Team, I will pick the weakest soldier to fight with you. If you can win against him, you will have some time to rest. You can then choose to challenge the next strongest fighter. Or you could give up. Naturally, you will be able to enter lion team at this point. But you will also be like that weakest soldier at the bottom of the barrel. Explained Fin Hong Cheng. Lei Yu nodded his head. I understand. Let's start then. Hearing that yesterday's new recruit who had just entered the wild wolf team was now being tested for team advancement, it attracted the attention of new recruits and veterans all running to come watch. Isn't this guy a bit too powerful? He passed the test yesterday to get into Dragon Group. Now he can participate in the team advancement test. That's right. It's too unbelievable. The source of this content is an OV Elvin. Not many new recruits stood outside the testing grounds discussing this. Then the Lion Teams veterans were brought to the center of the testing grounds. Sitting around in a circle, forming a fighting ring. You come out. Yes, a strong-looking soldier stood up and walked towards the center of the ring. Fen Hongcheng said, "Very simple rules. You're not allowed to hurt vital areas. Not allowed to kill, knocking down, or making the opponent yield will end the match." Understood. Understood. Lei Yu and the unnamed soldier replied in unison. Start. Yelled Fen Hongcheng, quickly withdrawing to the edge of the ring. Nuo Hu crossed his arms and nonchalantly looked at Lei Yu. Being with Lei Yu these past two days, Nuo Hu knew how much power Lei Yu possessed. Even if they were Lion Team's soldiers, they were no match for Lei Yu. Their physical abilities were only beyond the Wild Wolf Team soldiers, reaching the pinnacle levels of ordinary people, but still only an ordinary person. Lei Yu and Nuo, who both discussed that the aim was to directly enter Dragon Team, but they still had to follow normal testing procedures for this. Sure enough, the soldier assumed a standard fighting stance and slowly approached Lei Yu and began throwing out punches. But Lei Yu did not block or counterattack because he did not think his opponent's fist was able to hurt. Him once in a while, he would move his hand to deflect a fist aiming for his head. But when it came to his body, Lei Yu did not resist and allowed the attacks to land one by one. The Lion Team members revealed looks of surprise, even if the participating soldier was the weakest out of them all. No one would dare to stand there and take the beating. If someone was to say Lei Yu did not know how to defend himself and could only take on the attacks. Yet strangely, why did his face not suffer any attacks? The new recruits outside the testing grounds began to have their blood boil in excitement. 
This was really unimaginable. Wow, he is too strong. That's right, look. He's not even making any moves. What do you know? If he was to fight back, his opponent will immediately get knocked out. I think that's an accurate assessment. The uproar outside the testing ground had caused some anxiety to the soldier who was currently doing. Gee, his best throwing out punches, his fists, became more rapid and powerful, aiming at Lei Yu's head area. But no matter how hard he tried, he was simply unable to break through this line of defense. Lei Yu relied on his speed and powerful defense. After the body refining stage, Lei Yu was not someone an ordinary person could hurt even if that ordinary person was at their pinnacle limit. Do you think it is necessary to continue fighting? Lei Yu asked as he gently deflected a punch that was aimed at his face. Immediately after the question was asked, the soldier stopped his attacks, standing there breathing in ragged breaths. In that short three minutes, he was already exhausted and out of breath. While Lei Yu looked like nothing much had happened except a friendly chit-chat had just occurred. Is this something humans are capable of doing? Not only the new recruits, even those Lion Team soldiers sitting around the ring began to tense up, constantly whispering to each other. Be quiet, yelled Fen Hongcheng running to the center of the ring. The results are very obvious. This soldier lowered his head, ran back to the edge of the ring and silently sat down. He knew deep inside that if Lei Yu attacked. Even if it was just one punch, he may be currently lying down inside. The military's field hospital, Lei Yu, you can choose to continue challenging stronger opponents, or you can also choose to give up. Either way, you can enter the lion team. Well, the audience were in an uproar. Just on the second day, this teenager who had recently joined the dragon group was able to advance into the lion team, which was the team that all new recruits dreamed of joining. This could be considered something that has never happened before in Dragon Group. If one insists on saying this could happen, then it could only happen to a descendant of those ancient martial arts clans who had the ability. Looking at Lei Yu, it seems he only had a close relationship with Newell who with no mention of which clan he was from. Lei Yu smiled. I choose to continue the challenge. Pausing briefly, he then said, I choose to challenge the Lion Team's strongest soldier. Okay, Fen Hongcheng eyes shone with excitement. He hadn't seen such an outstanding soldier for a long time. As to the identity and history of Lei Yu, he has heard some stories about it, but to be abandoned by the family as useless trash could actually be this powerful. This was a shocking situation. The entire audience was once again boiling with excitement. Daring to challenge Lion Team's strongest person, this was undoubtedly the most challenging feat in the existence of an ordinary person. This situation has never happened in the history of Dragon Group. The strongest would most definitely be the number one pick to advance into Dragon Team at the next scheduled exam. His great strength would naturally be revered by all soldiers. I accept the challenge. A soldier with a rosy-looking face stood up from the corner and ran to the center of the ring. Lei Yu carefully sized up the soldier, even though the physical appearance did not look as strong as the last soldier. But the imposing manner he gave off had already exceeded that last soldier. This was the spirit. That dragon group soldiers were required to have, required to have, required nine heavenly thunder manual CH8, return of ire as the purple-colored internal energy slowly circulated forward, it would encounter some minor obstacles with just a bit of added strength. He could break through those obstacles, Lei Yu really enjoyed his success, the way his internal energy flowed, it was like cutting down anything in his path whether it be soldiers or generals metaphor. When arriving at a meridian, there would be another barrier blocking him, similar to a defending. Warrior, usually Lei Yu could pass through leisurely, but if he used too much force resulting in his meridians fracturing, pain would be felt, then the green energy would immediately activate. Repairing the damage, after countless fractures and repairs, Lei Yu's meridians had enlarged several times, becoming tougher and more flexible than before. 
The spiritual energy in the air was being absorbed by the circulating internal energy. And the yellow bead in Lei Yu's brain would immediately transform into a gas, acting as a filter for the newly absorbed energy from the air, removing all the impurities, making the spiritual energy become extremely fine and pure. Lei Yu currently has three types of forces in him, the purple energy being his own use to cultivate his abilities, a green energy that would work behind the scenes to repair any damages to his meridians and other acupuncture points, and the yellow energy that will remove impurities from the spiritual energy he absorbs from the air. But the most confusing thing for Lei Yu was that he did not know the origin of those three forces, and he did not know why they were residing inside his body, but these weren't important. The most important fact was his body kept continuing to increase in power. Two weeks later, Lei Yu continued cultivating as always. On a typical day with nothing to do, he would hang out with Nuo Hu occasionally. They would go to Dragon Group headquarters to learn some military policies and procedures. The days passing by were simple but strictly disciplined. Lei Yu never thought of breaking the current routine, but once this person appeared. Everything became a bit chaotic. Nuo Hu and Lei Yu both stood at the main entrance of the airport, chatting. It appears if they were waiting for someone, brother. A voice that sounded like beautiful wind chime floated into their ears. They looked up, and both Lei Yu and Nuo Hu became shocked. Nuo Hu also has not seen his sister for three years. These three years, she did not come back at all. Just studying abroad. Now that she was back. Nuo Hu had trouble recognizing her. The delicate face with a high nose, a pair of bright eyes as clear as moonlight, a pouty red cherry-like lips, wavy long hair gently swaying in the breeze. If not for the undeveloped chest area, one would really mistake her for a young maiden ready to be married off. The young girl ran up to Nuo Hu and gave him a big hug. The brother and sister had not seen each other for three years. This emotional embrace proved how much they missed each other. Brother, could he be? Ayer turned her head to look at Lei Yu, eyes revealing a somewhat surprised look. You don't recognize him. He is little Yu, said the smiling Nuo Hu. The source of this content is in Zero V Elbin. Net Wow. This Ayer did not restrain herself, turned and hugged Lei Yu. Brother Yu, I haven't seen you in a long time. You've really become handsome too. Lei Yu forced a gulp down. When they were young, he would be usually carrying this little sister with him, running all over the mountains without any intimate feelings whatsoever. Now this little Ayer had grown up to become a teen, especially one of such beauty. Lei Yu suddenly did not know how to react. People walking by or the crowds waiting to pick someone up would cast envious stares at them. If such an attractive girl were to give them a hug. How wonderful would life be then? Were their thoughts. The three drove back to Lei Yu's military apartments, talking about the the two siblings. Their life story was quite pitiful. They lost their mother at a young age, and their father rarely spent time with them. The two siblings rarely got along with other children, always only hanging out with Lei Yu. Those three naive children would then enjoy their days carefree without worries. The two siblings did not return home because Neil, whose father had to deal with some military affairs, also later on, Neil Hu had to accompany his father Neil Yi Long to an important banquet. Brother, today I'll be staying at Brother Yu's home, right? Father and you have to attend the banquet anyway. And I don't want to stay at home by myself," said Ayer nonchalantly. Ayer, forget it. Little Yu will accompany you to dinner. Then you will have to go home since he has to cultivate during the night," said Neil. Who cultivate, brother? You are you currently being specially respected inside the Lei household? You must defeat Lei Long to become the next master of the household. As I have finished speaking, Lei Yu's mood suddenly became a bit depressed. Neil, who lightly pulled at her while giving her a forceful stare, "What did I say? Something wrong? Enough, Ayer. Stop." Talking, Nuo Hu suddenly shouted. Ayer did not think her brother would have such a big reaction. Suddenly became teary-eyed. It doesn't matter. Ayer does not know the whole story. Lei Yu reluctantly smiled and gently patted Ayer's head. What? Tell me. Tell me what happened. 
Iyer thought Lei Yu lived here simply because it was closer to school, and did not bother with living anywhere else. Seeing Lei Yu nodding with the go-ahead, Nuo who gave out a long sigh. Alas, one year ago, this Lei Yun is really a big bad guy, brother Yu. You, how come you didn't tell me earlier? Crystal-like tears came down Iyer's delicate face. Just seeing her appearance would make one fill with sympathy and affection. It doesn't matter. The incident is in the past now. Aren't I doing great now? Lei Yu said nonchalantly. But deep in his heart, did he really not care about it? Brother Yu, come on, let's go eat dinner," said Iyer while grabbing onto Lei Yu's arm. Nuo, who hurriedly said farewell to the two, and drove away. The Nuo family only had one son, and Iyer is unable to succeed her father. Naturally, the candidate as successor fell on Nuo, who. Coming into contact with high-level figures early on was a good thing for his future developments. They both walked together towards a restaurant. Such a pretty girl, yet I don't recognize her," said a young man to his nearby buddies. This young man was in his early twenties, standing at a distance away, staring at Iyer approaching. Brother Han, we do not recognize her either," said several people nearby. These young guys slightly squinted their eyes. Deep down inside, they were up to something. After dinner, Iyer took the lead, exiting the restaurant. Lei Yu was in the back, busy taking care of the bill. The young man from before appeared. Following behind him were his two buddies. Hey, pretty girl, can we chat for a bit? You look so beautiful. How about we become friends? Iyer observed the young man. He was very well dressed and was born with a face that women were attracted to. But it was the spitting image of what a tool would look like. T N. The term tool is defined as someone that lack abilities and can only rely on their good looks or penis to get ahead. Iyer politely smiled. I'm sorry. I still have stuff to do. I'm going to leave now. Then she was about to go around these three people to leave. Hey, hold on. Blocking Iyer's path. I am known as Zhao Han. You should have heard of my name, right? Iyer frowned. I'm sorry. I'm really busy. Damn it! We're giving you face, and you're refusing it. Not everyone has the privilege to talk to our brother Han. Cursed someone standing behind Zhao Han. Shut up! Zhao Han turned around with vicious cold stare. Who said you could talk to her? This student immediately lowered his head with the appearance of a henchman. Then, with a smiling face towards Iyer, pretty girl. I only want to be friends. Why are you refusing my requests? Do you have time tonight? I will treat you to a drink. Iyer did not want Lei Yu to see her in this situation, and did not want Lei Yu to get into trouble since he's already having bad luck with his life. Besides, her brother wasn't here right now. Sorry, please let me get by. Iyer wanted to leave, but Zhao Han would not quit. He then grabbed Iyer's hand. Just at this moment. Lei Yu came out from the restaurant. Bastard! Stop! Shouted Lei Yu. Zhao Han frowned. This girl fits my taste. You kiddo better stay away from her, or don't blame me for any consequences. If you don't let go, you will suffer the consequences. Lei Yu stared menacingly inside Lei Yu's heart. Nuo Hu and I are were very important to him. Therefore, he will not allow any harm to befall them. You're seeking death behind Zhao Han. A buddy of his rushed over, throwing out a punch, intending to knock Lei Yu to the ground. 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 Nine Heavenly Thunder Manual. C H nine. Zhao Han's provocation. Lei Yu, with a blank facial expression, retreated a few steps back, avoiding the incoming punch. Extended his hand and grabbed onto the person's wrist and forcefully bent it downwards. You could hear a kacha sound that would give nearby people a shiver in their hearts. This person's whole arm bent in the opposite direction to a degree that was unimaginable. Lei Yu slowly walked forward a few steps, coldly looked at Zhao Han. I'm going to say it once more. Let go of your hands. Zhao Han narrowed his eyes. You seem to have some skills, huh? But in front of me, it's still nothing. Instantly releasing his hands from Iyer, his hands formed something similar to tiger claws. Exuding the tiger claw style, dashing towards Lei Yu, feeling a powerful internal energy coming from his opponent, Lei Yu wasn't taking any chances. Immediately going into a defensive posture, 
who? Asterisk pack asterisk the fists of both of them continuously. Clashed. Both their reactions can be described as extremely sharp, and it appears at the current situation, their powers were at a draw. Lei Yu was not expecting this at all. And neither was Zhao Han. Zhao Han was really surprised someone was able to. Contend with his abilities, after a brief clash, the two separated, staring at each other's eyes. Iron nearby was tightly clutching her clothes at a loss for words. While the other person who was holding his previously injured arm dared not to make a sound, this was not a fight either of them could jump into. Zhao Han's body stood up, inconspicuously pulled out of a dagger from behind, then pierced forward aiming for Lei Yu's chest area. Iyer screamed out in fear, but Lei Yu was not someone that could be easily beaten. In the nick of time, he also withdrew from his hip a shimmering sharp-edged tool. This sharp-edged tool was actually the spike, the spike that was not ordinary at all. Whereupon sunlight hitting it would give off a cold white aura. Bang bang collisions could be heard. The spike in Lei Yu's hand did not suffer any damage at all while the dagger in Zhao Han's hands had several cracks in it. For someone like Zhao Han who could not get the upper hand, he came up with a wicked idea. Turning around to face Iyer, he used his top speed and dashed towards her. You bastard! Lei Yu's eyes were filled with a cold anger, with a shout of power. His whole body dashed forward with the speed of lightning, with all the long-distance weighted running Lei Yu trained in, his speed was extremely quick. As Zhao Han arrived in the front of Iyer, Lei Yu was already in there as a shield. The dagger in Zhao Han's hand sliced through Lei Yu's sleeves, revealing a strange brand on his arm, gritting his teeth. Lei Yu lifted his leg and kicked out, hitting Zhao Han in the abdomen area. Staggering backwards a few steps, Zhao Han felt something in his throat. Then a mouthful of blood sprayed out, slightly gasping for breath, I staring viciously at Lei Yu. Who exactly are you? Is there a need for you to know? Lei Yu turned away, ignoring the wound on his arm, looked at Iyer. Determined nothing was wrong with her before sighing in relief, if you really have the guts, 8 o'clock, in the hillside behind the university, go alone, we will go for another round, whoever doesn't show up is a grandson, said Zhao Han. T. Ven, Grandson is meant to be something offensive, I'm not interested, and my grandfather already died. Without a care, Lei Yu pulled Iyer behind him, walked away without looking back. Coward, how can you be such a pussy in front of a woman? It's fine if you don't dare to go. Leave the girl behind so she can spend the night with me. Then we'll call it even said Zhao Han as he wiped some blood from his mouth. You fkuking bastard! Cursed Lei Yu, since he could not tolerate this anymore. Then are you going, or not? Asked Zhao Han with narrowed eyes in a cold tone. 8 o'clock. Wait for your funeral, leaving these words. Lei Yu took Iyer and left without looking back, arriving at the entrance to Lei Yu's military apartments. Don't go, I will call my brother first. Don't, Lei Yu stopped Iyer's action. Your brother is currently engaging in important affairs, don't bother him, it's not a big deal, I will take care of this matter. But, it's really not a big deal, you saw it, he is no match for me, right? Said Lei Yu, gently patting Ayer's head in a comforting gesture. The source of this content is in 0v Albin, not then. Then you have to be careful tonight, said Ayer filled with concern. The crime time was already 7.30pm. Lei Yu pulled reluctant to leave Iyer into a taxi, told the taxi driver the destination, then walked alone to the hill that was behind the local university. This so-called hill in the back was actually just a small slope, not very tall with weeds everywhere. If one doesn't squat down, they can be easily seen by anyone. The only reason Lei Yu decided to come was that he did not want to leave unfinished business behind, although Iyer was not his biological sister. He holds her in his heart even more dear than a biological sibling. Knew who and Iyer could be. Considered the only family Lei Yu had, he did not want any harm to come to either of them. Knew whose temper isn't very good when encountering a situation such as this. 
He would definitely make some impulsive move, moreover, someone that can contend. Evenly with him, Niu who may not necessarily be able to deal with. So this matter must be settled by Lei Yu, especially when he could not tolerate those verbal abuse on top of the desolate hill. Looking at his watch, the current time was five minutes. To eight o'clock, Lei Yu looked around and sure enough, two people were coming towards him. You really have the guts, but you're dead now, as Zhao Han's familiar tool face appeared before Lei Yu. Along with a 20-something year old person in black, this person had a sinister cold atmosphere about him, entirely dressed in a black tight-fitting clothes, with long hair obscuring half his face. Cousin, that's him. Zhao Han said that to the person in black clothing, T. Ven, referring to older. Male cousin the person clothed in black did not speak, but nodded slightly, then walked step by step towards Lei Yu, as the distance got closer. Lei Yu could not detect his opponent's presence life energy, which made him lose some confidence in himself. Lei Yu adjusted his breathing. It appears he has encountered a strong opponent, not daring to thoughtlessly circulating his own internal energy. The person clothed in black planted his left foot on the ground. Right foot gently slid along. The ground surface, giving one an atmosphere as if a caged bison was about to storm out, he was exhibiting an imposing manner. But setting off a sinister cold appearance which was somewhat not quite compatible with the prior. Lei Yu gently raised, his hands up, ready to take on his opponent's attack. The speed of the person in black was very fast, almost instantaneous, treading firmly on the ground, kicking up dirt with each step. His body was like a black panther directly rushing at Lei Yu. While at the same time both his hands formed like claws. As the powerful imposing manner approached him, Lei Yu's hair was blown back from this momentum's force. Strong. Lei Yu drew an arc with one hand, trying to stop the opponent's attack. The rapid figure of the person in black was like a loose kite, immediately swaying to the other side. Although this speed was something Lei Yu was capable of. He had never met anyone that could do it so effortlessly. Who? A gust of wind blew by. The figure of the man in black once again dashed towards Lei Yu. Both parties clashed together. Asterisk pack, asterisk when fists clashed with claws, it gave off a crisp sound. The two opponents both retreated two steps backwards and a look at each other with surprise. In their eyes, youngster, you're not bad, said the man in black. You are quite strong yourself, but unfortunately, the person you offended is part of our Ming sect. My condolences. The body of the main in black began to shake. Egg. A powerful shout went up into the sky to then. Think Dragon Ball, due to the roaring sound of immense power. The surrounding weeds and grass all bent away from the source. Then, as the grass settled down, one could see hidden amongst the grass was a pair of eyes staring out at them dueling. 9 Heavenly Thunder Manual, CH10, battle again in 3 years like a bullet, the man in black speed suddenly increased exponentially. Rushing towards Lei Yu with razor sharp nails shimmering with coldness, Lei Yu raised his hand to block his opponent's attack, those two were like the drifting wind, from east to west, from south to north, those clashes were almost unimaginable, each clash would result in a burst of strong wind pressure. Observing at the side, Zhao Han was scared silly. Fortunately, this evening the kid did not fight seriously with me or I would have suffered a great deal. Who exactly is he? Why is he so powerful? Meanwhile, within the grass was a pair of eyes with a look of surprise, but no one knew it was there. The fight between the two had been going on for over a minute now. As Lei Yu gently deflected the man in black's left-handed attack then quickly turned around. The man in black saw this weakness and five lines of cold sinister light flashed by Lei. You suddenly felt a hot sensation on his back because the man in black had used his right hand to split it. At that moment with blood pouring down, Lei Yu frowned. Beads of sweat on his forehead was dripping down and he was slightly panting out of breath. Do I really need to use the power of lightning? Lei Yu pondered. There's no other way. The opponent is just too strong. Clenching his teeth, Lei Yu initiated the next attack. With both hands at a knife-like form, 
He chopped down at the man in black. The man in black raised both of his hands, grabbing both of Lei Yu's arms and ripped downwards. Both of Lei Yu's sleeves were then ripped off, leaving five lines of blood stains on each arm, clenching his teeth to endure the pain. His hands did not stop, continuing to chop down on the shoulders of the man in black, containing a burst of paralysis within a powerful force. The man in black's body began to tremble. Surprise revealing in his eyes, but more importantly, he saw the brand on Lei Yu's right arm, quickly retreating a few steps back. The man in black said, "You are very strong, and your internal energy is not bad. If we continue fighting, both of us could end up seriously injured. What do you want then, Lei?" You asked while slightly panting. Tell me your name. The man in black was most concerned with the numbness he felt and the lightning brand on Lei Yu's arm. Currently, if one was to look closely at the man in black, you would be able to see his arm constantly trembling. In fact, he had no ability to fight anymore. With his arms in a paralyzed state, there's no way for him to continue attacking. If at this moment Lei Yu rushed forward, this person would not have any way to fight back. Lei Yu. A member of the Lei family household, the man in black slightly widened his eyes. No, I'm not of the Lei family. Lei Yu's voice was slightly emotional. He wanted to rush forward and slap his opponent's face a few times, except his internal energy consumption had been nearly depleted. There was no strength left to battle again. But fortunately, the other side announced a ceasefire. My name is Kai Zhang, Ming Sect's Northern Branch's leader. So what if he's of Ming Sect? Three years, three years later, at this exact same place, same time and date as today, we'll battle it out again. How about it? Asked the man in black. It's rare to encounter a worthy opponent as Ming Sect's branch leader. Kai Zhang was naturally excited, especially when the. Opponent's age was much younger than him, and already possessing such skill and strength, this inspired Kai Zhang's fighting spirit—a fighting spirit that was not willing to lose out when compared to Lei Yu. The source of this content is in Zero V Albin. Net, in fact, Lei Yu's thought process was the same as his opponent's. When faced with someone more powerful than themselves, they naturally want to pursue them. Today it was clear he was at a disadvantage. If it wasn't for his reliance on the power of lightning, the one being seriously injured would be himself. Lei Yu promised himself that from today onwards, he will definitely put more effort into cultivating. Yet cultivating requires an opponent to test its strength on. And in front of his eyes was the obvious best choice. I accept this match, but I know what you're worried about. I assure you. This Zhao Han is my younger cousin, and from now on he will not bother you or your girlfriend. Ah,、uh, Lei Yu wanted to explain, but thinking about it, it wasn't necessary. So he just nodded his head. Good, we have a deal. Pulling along the still surprised Zhao Han, the two quickly left Lei Yu's eyesight. As the two left, Lei Yu fell to the ground. He had consumed too much of his internal energy. The previous fight in the evening had already depleted a portion of it, and now his final blow used all the last ounce of internal energy he had left. All these combined made Lei Yu especially exhausted. Yet with all his last strength staked in the final blow, the other side was able to leave, striding away with such ease and grace. Inside his heart, Lei Yu was inspiring himself to put in more effort to become strong. Three years. Three years will pass by fast. We must seize every day. But then, remembering after two weeks, he would have the opportunity to enter the Dragon Team, and inside Dragon Team would be many master practitioners of cultivating techniques. The daily training and duels will definitely make him improve faster compared to cultivating alone. Thinking about this, Cosplay Yu's blood began to boil in excitement. At this moment, someone suddenly came out of the bushes. The scared Lei Yu hurriedly retreated backwards, raising his hands, ready to attack. With a plop sound, the person that rushed out in front of Lei Yu actually kneeled down and shouted, "Master, please accept me as your disciple. You are really too handsome." So great! Asterisk clapping sound. Asterisk your dashing palms landing on 
His body was way too cool. So brilliant. Lei Yu blinked a few times looking at the person in front of him. Are you trying to scare me to death? My apologies, master. Do you have any thoughts on accepting a disciple? I am willing to serve and wait. On you without any regrets. I hope you will not refuse this sincere disciple. Stop joking around. Lei Yu used his last ounce of strength to support his body before standing up. I have never thought about taking in a disciple. And oh yeah, you. Best not disclose what happened here today. As long as you agree to my requests, I will definitely not disclose this. I already said I don't accept disciples. This person helplessly watched Lei Yu with a long face if you do not agree to my request. I will stay kneeling here to my death and not get up. You should first put your pants back on or else people would think, said Lei Yu who was already exhausted. His body somewhat shaking. Ah, uh, looking down, the student said, I was just taking a shit. Students aren't allowed to smoke cigarettes so I was hiding here to get a smoke. Then seeing your exciting fight that I actually forgot to pull up my pants. Ah, uh, I forgot to wipe. Lei Yu did not know whether to laugh or cry. He currently did not have any energy left to laugh, yet he couldn't hold in his laughter when faced with this student in front of him. Help me out. Give me your hand for support. No problem. Are you still a student, first year freshman, in that school? What is your name, Liu Hao? Okay, as they arrived at the school's main entrance, a fast car drove towards them. Getting out of the car were three people. One was the familiar face of Niu Hu, the other was Ayer. And the third was someone Lei Yu had seen before. It was Niu Hu's bodyguard Bao. How was it? How come you didn't tell me sooner? Niu Hu hurriedly scolded as he observed the wounds on Lei Yu's arms. It's okay. Everything's all right now, brother Yu. You've been wounded. Quick, let's go to the hospital. Ayer held onto Lei Yu. And with one person on either side, they assisted Lei Yu into the car. This brother buddy. You are, asked Nuo who's sitting in the front passenger seat and looking behind at Liu Hao. My name is Liu Hao, first year student and I'm, I'm master's disciple. Liu Hao did not know what Lei Yu's name was so he could only answer like this. Huh, huh, huh.